I think generally people are interested in, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a, a piece of resolution of this problem. But the trouble is that this sort of tactical uh, level um, tension that's being created at the moment all around is not helping the cause of peace. Well, I'm, I'm bound under my, uh, under my mandate, if there are violations or alleged to be violations, because sometimes they're very difficult to prove, to warn people that, they, that no side is accepted from the, um, either the agreements which were made uh, to the United Nations or indeed um, uh, by the NATO automaton. And uh, the uh, consequences of these violations are that I have to warn them to cease. But the warning is a serious warning, is it not? And you are expecting a response or some sort Well, I of hope action. the actions speak louder than words. And what is certain is that the uh, uh, situation around Vygotsko has climbed down enormously in the last 24, 48 hours. Any progress, but um, if there has been any progress... It is pretty serious. Uh, one example. The pocket of uh, Srebrenica, uh, the commander there, the Dutch bed commander, has um, stopped all movements with vehicles to preserve the little amount of fuel they have at this moment. In the future, I don't believe we, we could live together, maybe, in 20, 30 years, but this generation, 